Hello and welcome back to How to Fix a Racetrack, a series that I shouldn't have dropped off, but I have. Um, but think of this as the wondrous return of it. The Dutch Grand Prix is being seriously considered for the future, you know, with Max Verstappen's popularity. Um, the owners of Zambort and Aston both want to host the Grand Prix. But both circuits need some upgrades. Um, Assen itself doesn't need much, but most people would like to see it return to Zandvoort, which has hosted the Dutch Grand Prix many times from the 50s to the 80s. And I think out of the two, Zandvoort would be my preference as well. But the problem is that the current circuit is not up to Grand Prix standards. First up is an FIA Grade 2 circuit. I mean, the paddock isn't big enough, the pit lane's probably not what they'd expect. But mainly, the circuit would absolutely suck for F1 racing. Straights are a bit too short, corners are all together, and uh, it would be like the Hungara ring, you just can't get any overtakes here. So, that's one thing I'm going to do is, well, how do you upgrade this circuit to make it worthy to host a Grand Prix and make it so that the race there would actually be good while still keeping what makes Zambort Zambort? Full disclosure, I'm going to pronounce the names of all these corners wrong, I can't speak Dutch, so if you are Dutch and I pronounced it wrong, I'm very sorry. But yes, this one down here, Shy Black. Well, I'm going to keep this corner in. I think it's the best corner on the circuit, it absolutely deserves to stay. It's brilliant to watch F1 cars through, and it's very famous for having this deep gravel trap, um, which causes many problems. I'm not going to get rid of the gravel trap, I think the gravel trap's there, but it is still a grade 2 runoff area, so I will need to update this for FIA grade 1 because they want that. But I'm going to leave all this gravel, you'll see what I need to do. So, plans for this track. Um, I think the thing is, from this hairpin here down through Shy Black and this corner, especially as well, I think that is true Zambor and those corners should stay as they are. So I'm not going to edit them at all. That section is going to stay as it is. Maybe a tiny bit of updates to the runoff, but nothing much else. Just going to focus on the rest of the track. It's also the historic bit and the only bit that's still left of the original Zambort circuit. Another reason it's not going to go. But this second half of the lap and the first section is definitely going to be changed. I am going to spread out in towards this area up here because, well, it's empty and not doing anything, um, which is a shame because well, the bit that I want to preserve is the best place to spread into it. So, sorry Tarzan Hairpin, you might be iconic, but it's time for you to go. Of course, when I say go, what I mean is just get cut out and extended, because, well, it's still a great first corner, it just, well, you know, needs to be moved a bit further down. And there we have it, boom, much longer start straight. I've kept it wide with the pit lane exit. And therefore the run into the new Tarzan hairpin is going to be a bit well better and there's going to be some actual overtaking for once example. Which would be nice to see. So one thing I am planning to do is keep all this and make this back end of the circuit a bit better for racing. So I'm just going to create a new kind of arena section around the back here um, using these corners. With a start straight, a good exit and a long straight is good, but getting onto the start straight is just as important. You know? Think of Barcelona, it has one of the longest straights on the calendar, but you've got an acceleration through a long corner, same with Mexico actually, the final corner there, you're accelerating through a turn, so the cars just, they just can't follow each other, which means they all spread out, and by the time they get to the start straight, well they're too far apart, that no matter how much DRS you've got, you're never going to get past. So, as good as this Ari Leyendijk corner is, also, check out the complete lack of runoff on the exit, that will never go. 
Um, the Grand Prix bosses would not want that. They'd want this, you know, runoff to be out here. So, what I'm going to do, quite simply, is swap these two around. Very simple. You've got the fast corner now is the first part, which, yes, the cars might not be able to follow each other through, but there's a small straight and then a braking zone. This would be a tough braking zone out the corner, which would make this corner look a little bit tricky and hopefully will encourage the cars to try different lines into it. So I've swapped those two around and now the start straight is looking pretty good. We have a better entry into it that will allow more racing. It's a lot longer. So I'd say currently we're looking good. So yes, I am planning to um, basically steal some of these corners from their rightful positions and just move them for the sake of creating a much better or kind of placing them somewhere better so that there's space for runoff so they can be safe and therefore be FIA Grade 1, because that is the point of this video, it's turning a brilliant circuit into a Grade 1 circuit. And also while preserving the history of the track. Ooh. Yeah, some might say that what I'm doing here, which is cutting a corner out, pasting it in wildly somewhere else backwards is a stupid thing to do and well, you might be right but also you're wrong um because i'm still keeping the corners in but i'm also creating a decent racetrack zambor's paddock is quite small and well you can see it you know the grand prix he likes a nice big paddock um so, my plan here is to create a new section down this way, so that this paddock can be nice and big. So that the Formula 1 trucks can move in, do what they need, and have the space, and there won't be any more complaints. And also, I just think that this bit is pretty, well, unsafe, unfortunately. There's no runoff there, it's not that good, and also, it's a tough corner for racing into. Um, which is why I'm, well, tearing it apart, is that the right word? Yeah, it is the right word. Tearing it apart for the greater good. So what I'm planning to do is take this second section, different section, and I'm going to move it over here, flip it, soon see what I'm planning to do because this is my chute back up towards this section it hasn't done much but it's done enough I'd say right so the main problem I have is that to keep this hairpin it's got to have no runoff at all which from here going to be a long straight which cannot have no runoff so unfortunately I am going to have to desecrate this bit with a chicane but chicanes aren't necessarily bad you can have fun chicanes it may sound stupid it may sound weird and it may not suit a straight this short but yeah necessary evil unfortunately so I was thinking well I need to get a chicane where can I get one well, I'm keeping this corner as it is, but there's something here that looks like it once was a chicane. Why don't I just steal that and make it mainstream? And there we have it. Not the most aesthetically pleasing chicane, but it allows space for a bigger paddock. It will halt the fact to extend this runoff so that this cutoff can still exist. And it also allows this hairpin to exist while giving chance cars to maybe follow each other and race down there. And there we go, much better runoff area down there. 
This corner I'm going to keep the same because A, it's a fun corner to drive in. It's a fun corner to drive, and B, this bit is just. You make a tiny mistake and you get sucked into that wall, and it's a good action area, so I'm going to keep this as it is. I'm going to keep it into a right hander, but I'm going to edit these two corners because, well, at least my experience driving the track in the games, I don't like the flow of these two turns. These two corners are designed to make this straight just a little bit longer so that it can be you know, the second place, the second straight for overtaking. This is definitely going to have to be my second straight. Now, this will be DRS zone number two because the other, uh, I haven't really added any big long straights in elsewhere so I am um, we have got space here so I might try and extend the entry to the straight and also the exit wishy-washy extra extra kink now we're going straight down from here into a much better turn down the bottom now watch this, have some fun. So paste it in new straight. Let's play around with the warp tool. And that is now a slightly different bend, which I can now turn into a completely different apex. Have some fun. And to just extend the apex there. Move this up so it joins. And they're nice. Make a bit bulbous on the exit. Change the way it comes into the corner and just create something with a different shaped apex. The aim of these multiple apexes is to create a chance for drivers to take different lines into a corner and it be as fast as other lines. That is the point of this. We want the drivers to be able to race somewhere by taking other lines to other drivers so they're not having to follow in the slipstream and dirty air through corners, which therefore will just be better racing because if the cars are following each other and passing each other, that's what we want. And with that, that section is now slightly different. So really, last thing to do with the layout is to extend this straight. So we've now got somewhere to overtake into, or to start an overtake. We now need somewhere for the overtake to end. Make this straight a little bit longer, very simply, by up here. Slice like that. Boom, 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 boom. Come down like this. Get horizontal. Rotate 90 degrees. And there we have it. go so now that that's done we have a layout but I'm not finished because I said the paddock needs extending because that's what it needs to do so just time for a bit of cleanup really extend the paddock remove some bits of the circuit that we can't see and we're nearly done and there we have it this is my suggestion on how to upgrade Zambor to create a FIA Grade 1 circuit without necessarily ruining it. I mean, yeah, the first, the new section, it's not the greatest, um, but there's some careful thought put into it. The cars will be able to race and switch back and everything through it. It allows for the lack of runoff that's needed up at the hairpin at the back of the pits. And we still got the best corners on the circuit preserved. Racing would be a lot better here. Higher cars, faster cars would be able to race here. And in general, I don't think this would be bad. Um, racing 
is what the circuit needs. The Dutch want a Grand Prix and this would be a solid Grand Prix circuit. Well, I hope you've liked the video and if you have, please press the like button, um, subscribe if you're new and um, comment down below as to what you think I've done right, what you think I've done wrong, how you would have changed it, would you have done Assen instead and any suggestions on other circuits I should do, I'm always open to suggestions. Hopefully it won't be as long a gap before the next video, so thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.